Hello everyone, I hope you like that opening teaser. That was done with the Forza 60 as the key light and the new Forza 300D as the background light. Now today's star is really the Forza 300D, which is essentially a bicolor light. So this allows selection from 2700 kelvins all the way up to 6500 kelvins. However, in terms of brightness, it is not as bright as the original 300, which I'm using right here. Some raw figures at 5600 kelvins, 100% brightness, 55% as bright as the original. With the reflector, it would be 55%. With the Fresnel at spot mode, you are getting 109%. And this increase in brightness is really due to the slightly smaller COB. However, this also results in a lower brightness when you are in the flood mode. With the Fresnel mounted, it is only 52% of the brightness. Bear in mind that when compared to the nearest competitor in the market, it is still almost 26% brighter, which I think is very impressive. Now, compared to the original version, it had which had only 4 built-in effects, you now have 12 and you can also upgrade the firmware. There is now a USB port here which you can upgrade the firmware. In terms of power, this can be powered by AC with this included ballast or you can mount it with two V-mount batteries. Nutlight tells us that with the regular 148 volt. 160 watt batteries, it will last 50 minutes at full power. So if you need something longer, then get some 200 watt batteries, they should last more than an hour. So when it comes to the physical difference, I put it side by side with the original 300, and I find the 300B is just ever so slightly larger in terms of light fixture. The controller, the ballast is exactly the same size. Um, one thing is that this yoke is obviously taller now and I think this is to cater for people who need to bounce the light off the ceiling so now you don't have an issue and also it has this little additional slot for an umbrella which I like, not that I use them a lot um, but then when you look at the light it actually looks exactly the same as the 300 only that they have this yellow strip now to help you identify which one is the bicolor version in terms of light control, it's the same as before. You have the BMX control, and now you have 2.4 as well as Bluetooth enabled in the ballast. And what I have here is the new included remote controller. Um, this is supposed to be Wi-Fi, and I think since it's Wi-Fi, means, it means that Nightlight should come out with an app soon, I hope, because um, while this is very helpful in dimming or controlling the temperature, there is no way to know what settings you are on. So in conclusion, this is priced at USD $899 and it's highly competitive because you are getting a light that is almost 26% brighter than the competition for a similar or even lesser price. It's really quite a no-brainer. I've had no reliability issues with none light in my one and a half years of using them. So I'm really happy and I hope this has been useful. Till the next time, goodbye.